Triceps of Fury, here we come! Guys, welcome to the gym. This is good energy in the gym today. Why? Because it's chest and tricep day. Yep, chest and tricep. So we're on uh, second phase in the SWOL program, day number two. Yesterday, we did legs, my quads, actually, specifically, we did quads yesterday. Hamstrings will come later in the week. My quads are definitely feeling it. So today, we're carrying that same principle, that one and a quarter rep, and we're doing bench press to start off with. We'll then move on to some other chest movements and then finish off with triceps. But make sure, if you guys aren't subscribed, do that right now because we're gonna be doing a day or a, we're doing a week in the SWOL program phase two this entire week so you guys can follow along, get at least a free, free week of workouts. Let's roll. All right guys, first thing we got today, we got four sets of bench press. So we're gonna be doing um, a one and a quarter bench press. Really what we're trying to tap into today is gonna be that stretch reflex on the bench. So what Steve's gonna be doing, it's gonna be a close grip today. He's gonna control it for a three count down, come up a quarter rep, pause for one to two seconds, and then he's gonna drop and explode through the weight. So we're gonna go four sets, six reps, um, and we'll just rest for about two to three minutes in between sets. Steve already touched on it. So this is gonna be block one of cycle two on the swole program. So usually the way that we program it, we have three blocks in each cycle. Um, so that's usually one month per block. So uh, I just brought that up because usually the way that I program, the way that I've seen the most success with my athletes and even with myself is always when I start a new training blo block on the bench press, I'll break it back down and start on the close grip. So, and usually go a little bit higher volume. For me, it's always been able to keep my triceps strong so I have a good lockout. And um, it's just a good way to make sure that you don't lose that close grip strength. So start off really with some higher volume, make sure you maintain that tricep strength. And then throughout the weeks, we're gonna be widening our hands out during this training cycle. And at the end, leading us up to a max. One of those days when we do this slow down one and a quarter and then up you don't want to check your ego at the door just make sure you're good form keep that chest nice and expanded rib cage out ba boom you're gonna get stronger this way guys right, we finished up the bench press so the next thing we got today is gonna be just an incline dumbbell we're just calling it a narrow press so what Steve's gonna do is set up on the incline put the two dumbbells together so it's a super close grip and it's gonna give him a really good contraction at the top of the lift so we're gonna be doing three sets of ten the four count lower on this one. Guys, we just got done with the narrow press. Next thing we got right now is gonna be, Steve's on a slight decline right here. We're gonna be doing a reverse key press. So he's gonna come down, rotate at the top, and try to squeeze his elbows together, just to get a really good contra contraction in his chest. So we set it up on a slight decline, just to give him a better angle to get a good contraction here. And he's gonna be doing a four count lower on this one as well. So four count down, squeeze it at the top, every rep, three sets of 10. And it, well, the biggest key I like to think about when I'm doing this is not to touch the weight, so try to try to touch your elbows. Now, obviously, you can't touch your elbows on this, but that you're, you small packs. yeah. Ooh, look at that. You can't come close. I'm 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 close, so I can't come close. So that's kind of the, the mental cue that I like to think about. All right, so we're also going to be supersetting these reverse key presses with just an incline dumbbell fly. So same thing, he's gonna control it on the way down and just squeeze it at the top, focusing on trying to squeeze his elbows together. All 
Alright, so now that we're done with our chest work for today, we're gonna be moving on to some tricep stuff. So the first thing we're gonna do is just your basic mass builder for our triceps. So the thing that we're gonna try to push it and go a little bit heavier on, so it's gonna be a barbell skull crusher. So we're just gonna do that on its own today. We're gonna go three sets of eight, and then we're gonna try to extend the set. So that means hopefully we'll pick a weight that Steve gets close to failure at eight reps. Once he hits failure, I'm gonna help him up, and then he's gonna control down the eccentric. So he's still gonna be controlling the eccentric the entire time for four seconds. So we'll go four count down, once he fails around his eighth rep, I'm gonna force, I'll help him back up to the top, he's gonna control it back down again, and then I'll help him for another rep. So just two more force reps at the end of each set right now. Triceps of Fury, here we come! If I had a superhero power, it'd just be a tricep hang. Like, and there'd be that pivotal time in the movie where the bad guys are kicking the good guy's ass and I'm on the good guy's team, and I just do this, and everyone's like, waiting for it to happen, but I'm like, nope, it's just this. It's just the tricep hang, that's all I got. But then the bad guys are like, what? They're just staring at it, and the good guys smash them. Tricep, triceps of Fury! That's what it's called. So we finished up the skull crushers, now we're gonna move into a superset. So we're gonna be doing uh, seated, just French dumbbell French press. So it's a single dumbbell, just overhead press. Uh, we're gonna go, same rep scheme. Eight, eight reps, four count down, and then I'm gonna try to push Steve one to two reps past failure. And then we're gonna be supersetting that today. It's just 15 reps on a rope push down where he's gonna squeeze for a second, pull the rope close to his body, squeeze for a second at the, at the end, and then come back up. So we got 15 reps there, and we'll rest for 90 seconds and go through that three times. All right, for the finisher here on triceps, we got the, the D handle here that you'd be doing like for a seated row. And what we're gonna be doing is for triceps a press down, pick a weight that you can do for roughly 20 and then do it eight to 12 times. What's gonna happen is we're gonna go eight sets here of eight to 12 reps. It's gonna feel nice and light at first, but we're only taking 30 seconds in between. So maybe in between, I would recommend, I always like to do this, just kind of flex I know it sounds a little weird, but kind of that mind muscle connection, just flexing, and especially if you're gonna be competing or getting on stage or getting ready for that summer body, um, just in between sets, kind of stretching and flexing, keeping blood pumped in there, and then getting back into it. So you're gonna stretch that fascia, eight sets, eight to 12 reps, 30 seconds rest, let's go. Hit 20 there. Just kind of shake it out. 10 year Arnold Schwarzenegger and pumping iron. It's my favorite thing to do when I'm working triceps. Flop like a bird. It's the male equivalent of twerking in the gym. A good chest session and triceps of fury. Just don't take my, my jokes, guys, okay? I don't want to be hearing people in the gym talking about how they have triceps of fury as their superpower, okay? That was my thing. I made it up on the spot today. But uh, guys, make sure, subscribe. Like I said, if you guys want more of these workouts, we're doing them on, on YouTube. This is phase two of the swole program. And second day on it, I'm feeling real swole right now. So got a little bit of cardio to do, but make sure you guys come back tomorrow or come back next time. We'll have the third installment of this workout. Thank you guys for watching, we'll see you next time.